this morning we are headed to do a kitchen sink drain in Nashua, New Hampshire. So stay with me and I hope to see you at the end. Thanks! Welcome back to New England. <laughs> Wait five minutes. I guarantee you the weather will change. Oh, you got that right. <laughs> I've lived here my whole life and I still don't like the cold. <laughs> I used to go snowmobiling up in Canada and stuff. Oh, wow. Now I go to the beach. Right. You got to get off the beach in the summer at 1130. It's so hot. Right. Alrighty. So. Do you know how to get down into the basement yep. to show me oh, where he yeah. took the yeah. picture? Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Is that what you want to look for? That's where he said. Alright. So he... Did he fill you in on anything? Uh, Did nope. he? Okay, so... I think he said he pulled that clean out cap off. Alrighty. Well, that's where I'll start. I'll pull that cap off and it might just be right in here. Okay. Alrighty. Would you like something to drink? Oh no, I'm good. Yeah. Thank you though. All right, I'm gonna go up and get my equipment and pull that cap and give him a call and go from there. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Is there a door? Yeah, I guess. It'll probably be easier than going through. Oh yeah, that'll be much easier. Hi Rod, it's Shelly. Hey. So your dad let me in down into the basement and you, um, so it's not upstairs, it's definitely down at that, that point. Okay. I, I, yeah, I saw the bucket. I'm actually out at the truck just grabbing something so I can pull that clean out off. To the, to the bigger four inch clean out. Okay, and so you pulled, I'm, I'm just gonna pull this inch and a half cap. The bigger cap, so if, if it was in that bigger cap, the bigger cap would, um, you'd be having an issue, a bigger issue. Um, it wouldn't just be just this line. Because I'm assuming, oh, well, this is just your kitchen sink. Your toilets and everything are flushing okay. No, yeah, there's there's no water there. Alrighty, so I mean, it's not a long run to the bigger pipe. I can definitely run this. All, all right, so I'll get that. I'll, I'll snake it real quick. Um, I'll have them run water upstairs at the same time that I'm snaking it just to make sure it's all draining down and go from there. Okay, so when you have this cap off and you run water, it basically just right at that that two inch Y is where it, okay. Alrighty, yeah, I'll run my, uh, we have the, the power auger, so I'll run that and uh, get you draining. Alrighty. All right, perfect, thank you. All right, bye. Oh, perfect, let me get in there, take that with me. I'm gonna put that on the floor.
Yeah. You got that or you want me to get No, I got it. Thank you though. <laughs> I found there an outlet up here. Oh perfect. So just know, even if you were a man, he'd be pestering you like that. Oh, but it's don't fine. Because you're a girl. <laughs> Why don't you go back upstairs? <laughs> on it, to be to be totally honest with you, I've uh that he's not bothering me at all. We've had I've had some people say some pretty nasty things to me because I'm a girl. Oh wow. I think it's awesome. Good hey, for you. I, I worked for the post office and some of the girls work better than the men. <laughs> I know. And I would tell them that too. Yep. Well, I am gonna get out of her way. She can actually help by, once I get everything set up, running the sink cold water upstairs for me. So you staying busy? Too busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're not afraid to work. Down in Florida, there's a signs everywhere looking for help. Really? Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of them up here too, and uh, nobody wants to work anymore. That's the sad part. That's the sad part. Nobody wants to work anymore. Oh. We're for the post office in Drake it. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't really much overtime. Now the guys are working out to eight o'clock at night. Yeah. That's because they don't have help. Right. Nobody wants to work anymore. Ah. They can all make. They can all get paid just for sitting at home lately. That's the sad part. But once you have good work ethic and your parents teach oh. you good work ethic, you just stick with it and you'll be good. I had, I, I used to split wood, cut, cut trees and split wood and, yeah. and sell the wood. So I'd have the guy, three guys come over, right? Yeah. I says, we split for two hours. I'll feed you and you can drink as much as you want. One day a week we're doing it, right? Yep. Then all of a sudden they go, Oh, why can't we do it two days a week? <laughs> I said, it's up to you guys. You know, and I feed them after we work on two hours. Right. Do you have your wife run the kitchen sink cold water? Hey, Cass. Uh, run the cold water in the kitchen. St. Augustine, up in the north, below Jacksonville and above Daytona. Okay. We've been going down like eight years for so three months in the winter. Yeah. And I said, Cap, we can't do it, we're doing what we're doing. I said, so why don't we buy, uh, buy it? So we bought a place, moved down two years ago, all during the start of COVID. Right. And uh, so we had to come back home, pack everything, then go back down. But going back down, there was no traffic. You know, we just flew all the way down. We stopped in uh, North Carolina, right? In, uh, yeah. And it's only 500 miles the next day. Right. Well, we got there two hours early. Yeah. You know, because there's no traffic. I right. Want, want to go? No, we always stay here. Let's stay here. But when we had, had to fly home, the plane kept on getting canceled three times. Because of COVID? Yeah, there was no people on the plane. Yeah. We were coming from Jacksonville to Boston. There was 34 people on the plane. Oh, wow. There was, you know, it was real bad. Right. And, uh, you know, hey. But uh, we, we like it. Yeah. Wife don't like Christmas. She loves Thanksgiving. 
So the you two boys up, yeah. said, we'll pay for your flight. That'll be a Christmas gift. You come up for Thanksgiving. How do you not like Christmas? <laughs> she just doesn't, you know. Well, it's, a, it's really commercialized nowadays. Yeah, it's yeah. not like it used yeah. to be well, where you could just be with family and, you yeah. know. Yeah. Well, our youngest grandson, he, he's um, a senior year in college. Oh, okay. And the so, other one's in uh, So it's not Kuwait. like you have the magic right. of Christmas yeah. anymore or anything and, um, like that, so. Yeah, my, my oldest is a freshman in high school and my youngest is in fifth grade, so. Good. Enjoy them because before you know it, they're, they're old enough and they're gonna make their own decisions and stuff. I think he's gonna be good because it hasn't. We've had it running this whole time, so. Yes. Yeah. Did he say it was slow or? He just. He just yeah. asked us to come over, so we. Just go open the door, please. Yeah. Matter of fact, we got here about thirty seconds before you did. Oh, did you? Yeah, I was down in uh, Dunst Dunstable. Yeah. Doing a kitchen sink drain, so. I called him. I was like, I can be there in like this this long. It's like, okay, that works. All right, I think I'm gonna pull back and I think he's, he'll be good. So what's that? It just keeps turning? This? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's it's our kitchen. We call it a kitchen sink snake. Yeah. It's um. Some people call it an auger. Some countries call it a plunger. Yeah. Um. So it's. Whatever it is, it works. Exactly. It gets the job done. So I'm gonna bring the machine out to the truck. Um, I'm gonna actually grab a sticker and put it on the pipe here. Actually, I'll put it up under the, uh, I'll put one under the kitchen sink. I'll put a sticker on the cabinet under the kitchen sink and I'll leave his slip. I'll call him to get his credit card information. Yeah. And I'll leave his slip upstairs for him for when he gets home. Um, and then there'll be the sticker under the sink in case somebody has any questions because he said he's moving out. And so if it backs up while he's still here, it'll be under guarantee. Oh, 
carry that out for you. All right? Oh, you don't have to. No, I will. You, you want a water or something? Oh, no, I'm good. I actually have a coffee in my, in my oh. truck. You're too kind. Thank you so much. No problem. You want it on that side? No, I, I put it right in the back there. Stop the sink up and uh, you know what you're saying, yeah. let it all go at once. Yeah. Just to test it. I hear you. Yeah, they don't have a dishwasher. It's so funny because they just sold the house and uh, then um, I said, Tell the people they don't have a dishwasher. Right. <laughs> they like, Yeah, they didn't care. It's a young couple. But they left the cabinet not screwed in so if someone wants to put one in, they can. Oh, one right. In, yeah. Know? So. People used to tell me that all the time, and I was like, I have a dishwasher, just like, I have a car starter. It's my yeah. kids, I just send them out to the car, and tell them yeah. to start the car. Yeah. Well, we have a dishwasher at our house, and I keep my bread and everything in it because I don't use it. Right. It's just the two of us, you know? I just do my dishes, and that's that. Oh, so you God. live in Nashua? Yep, yeah, I was born and raised here. Nice, nice. Born and raised here, and my girls, my, I was just telling your husband, my yeah. oldest goes to North. Nice. My youngest is actually at the new charter school. Oh, wow. Did she like so, it? Yeah, she nice, likes it. Nice. So Very good. This is for your son. So how'd you get into being a plumber? So I actually was working with another plumber friend of ours that I've known since I was five. Mm -hmm. I was doing installs, um, hot water heaters, things like that yeah. with him. And... I was going to school for medical, so I have a medical background. Yeah. And then I worked for the Red Cross for a little while, and at the same time, I met my husband, and he owns this company, and he was doing oh, drain cleaning. Wow. So I got with him, and I left the Red Cross because yeah. they weren't really very good people yeah. to work mm -hmm. for. And we've been working and awesome. together ever very since. Good. And oh, very good. That's been good, huh? eight yeah. years. Good for you. Good for you. He only lives down the street, and I'm telling you, they got all those push button the lights go up and the ceiling. We don't know what which uh, which light goes with what. And Tanya says that's fine. I've been here for what four or five years now, and I still don't know. Right. <laughs> It's a piece of plastic fill in there at the... There we go. Alright. No, his disposal is fine. Okay. Does he have paper towels? Yep. I know you're not supposed to reach in a disposal if something falls in it, but... <laughs> well, neither one of you were over here to hit the switch, so... I knew I was going to be okay. <laughs> Alright. You are all set. Beautiful. Thank you. Good luck and enjoy your Thanksgiving. Okay. Yes, nice yes, meeting you. Have a nice nice to meet you too. too. Yeah. Take care. All righty, everybody. That does it for that one. A really quick, nice, easy one. So hope you enjoyed. Hope you watched the video. Join us on Discord to get, chat with us and have a good time. And also check out those affiliate links. That'll help support the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.